Hi everybody, my name is Heather Mitchell and I am a lead independent consultant with Scentsy. I have been with Scentsy now for three years and I'm so excited to get on here today and kind of share a little bit about Scentsy, share some fun facts, and then give a brief overview of just some of the products that we have because I can't cover everything that would take forever. So if you go on my website and you see something that I didn't show here or I didn't talk about, feel free to send me a message and I will be happy to assist you with any questions that you may have. So first off, I want to give you a little bit of Scentsy history. Now you're probably thinking history, ugh. but I promise this is going to be fun history. I just have a few short things I want to say and then I'm going to get into some fun facts and then we're going to get into the products themselves. So Scentsy is made in the USA. It's actually based out of Idaho. And it's been around since 2003. The company was founded by Colette Gunnell and Kara Egan, and it's co-owned by Heidi and Orville Thompson. You're gonna hear scratching behind me. This is Leia. Hi, Leia. Can you say hi to the people? She's one of my fur babies and I love her to death, but she loves scratching on doors. So you might hear her because if I shut the door behind me to kick her out, then she's going to be scratching on that door. So just bear with me and maybe she won't do too bad with the scratching on the door for mommy. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so Scentsy uses clean ingredients in their products. They use the finest ingredients that they can find, which include BPA-free, lead-free, gluten-free, egg-free, and let me see if I can say this right. Formula dehydrated free wax and fragrance oils. I'm sure I said that last word all wrong, but anyway, I gave it a shot. So now some fun facts about Scentsy, and I guess little one actually wants to stay in my lap for a little bit today. So I'm good with that. So our wax is edible. Now I'm not saying you can eat it, but it is made from food grade wax. So Curiosity, that's right Leia, Curiosity will not kill the cat. She's a very curious cat. So Curiosity will not kill the cat. Some of it does smell good enough to eat. Like I said, I'm not saying go and take a bite out of your Scentsy bar, but you know, if your kid or your pet does happen to get into it, it's not going to hurt them in any way. Our wax is now available in over 80 fragrances, and when it's warmed, you don't have to worry about it burning you, Leia, because it only warms to a degree above body temperature. Now, I'm going to post a video later on that shows um, me actually sticking my finger into the wax. I unplugged all my warmers without thinking before... I got on here so I can't like really show you right now because all the wax is no longer warm. But anyway, I do have a video that I'll post and I will share that with you all later to just show you that. Uh, so no worries, you know, if it gets spilled or if your kid or pet wants to go play in it, it's not going to hurt anything. Our wax does not evaporate, so no wax particles are breathed in by you. The only thing you're going to breathe in is the fragrance oils. And the fragrance oils, as I mentioned, they are made naturally. Spills are super easy to clean. If you're clumsy like me, I've spilled wax so many times. I actually had a warmer I was going to show you and spilled wax all over it. And I did get it cleaned up, but I was just like, well, I have so many other warmers too. I'll just grab another one of them. But if you do spill your wax, all you have to do is reheat it. So if it's on a warmer, it's really easy, right? Because the warmer's already on. It's already going to be heated up. You're just going to take a paper towel and you're going to wipe it down. Uh, if you spill it on your floor or on your wall or something, just take a hair dryer or even an iron if you want. If it's, I've seen people um, in different groups say that if it gets on the floor, they can put like an iron with a piece of wax paper over it and just kind of go over it that way. And then it will clean up the wax. So super easy to clean if it spills. You just have to reheat it. We do offer a bundle and save option. I will get into that here more at the end, but the bundle and save can be found under the specials tabs and that can help save you some money. So that was a bit about the history and just a few fun facts that I wanted to share. So now I'm gonna get into the products. I'm gonna first go over how long some of these products last. So the bars, one cube last 20 hours. Uh, the bars come in a pack of eight. So if you look at it that way, a whole entire pack of wax is gonna last you 160 hours. Now, there is something that I do want to say about the wax. Um, it does depend on where your warmer is sitting on the strength of some of these. 
So if your warmer is in a small confined space, and let's say it's sitting on a shelf, so you have your warmer sitting in between the two shelves, you're probably not going to smell the wax as much because it's not going to have really much of a place to release. So if you have it sitting on a table or maybe a dresser or something like that, then you're going to smell more of the fragrance. So it just depends on your warmer placement there. Uh, scent packs, I will show you one of those. The average scent pack time is three months. Some of them do last longer than three months, but the average time is three months. Scent circles for your vehicles, uh, the average time for that is up to two weeks. If you buy any oils for our diffusers, the oils are good for up to two years. A fragrance flower, I'm going to show you that, can last up to three months. And then the pods is 120 hours per pod. So I'm going to get into some fun stuff now and I'm going to show you a few things. Uh, I've, sadly, I could not find a mini warmer to show you this morning. I don't know where they are. I've been putting stuff in boxes because we're going to be getting a new house soon, which is super exciting. So I've been starting to move things around. But I am going to show you a example of our standard warmer and I'm going to show you an example of our element warmer. So I'm going to first start off by showing you the element warmer. And an element warmer does not use a light bulb. The element warmer was right here in front of me, so I'm just grabbing it first. This is one of our most popular element warmers. If you love letter boards, I know that letter boards are like a really popular thing, especially here the last few years. Well, we have a letter board warmer. And it does come with multiple letters. I think there's over a hundred letters and emojis that you can use to change these out at any time. But this is our letter board warmer. And it has a little element light back here. So whenever you plug this in and you turn it on, this light is going to show up orange. And then that will show you that it's on and it's working. Now all of our warmers do have a limited lifetime warranty. And what that means is that if something manufacturer was to happen to it at any time, Scentsy would replace it. Now, if you walk by or your cat or your dog goes and knocks it off and it breaks, Scentsy's not going to replace that. But if it's a manufacturer defect at any time, so if your element goes out or you, know, you plug it in and it doesn't want to even turn on anymore with the switch, I don't even know if that happens, that just came to my mind, but anyway, Scentsy will replace that if it's a manufacturer defect. So as I mentioned, this is just one of the many element warmers that they have. You can go on my website to the warmers tab and then you can click on warmers and go through the different types. And I think there's an element tab there for, I think there's like a tab for each type of warmer, but this one is an element warmer. So if you don't want a night light or something like that, and you just kind of want a scent being put out while you sleep or be alone in a dark room, maybe your reading room or something, then you can have the element warmer. My husband's playing video games. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but if so, I'm so sorry. Okay, the next warmer that I want to show you is one of our standard warmers. And our standard warmers is basically a full-sized warmer. This one right here is my absolute favorite warmer that I have right now. And this is the Trust in Him warmer. And actually, let me plug this one in just to show you what it looks like when it's plugged in. So I'm going to duck down for just a second. I'll be right back though. I'm plugging it in. I'm turning it on. See how cute that is? So this is a standard warmer. They do set about this height. This is about the typical height for a standard warmer. And something cool about the standard warmers is if you look on either the top of the tray here or on the bottom, there's going to be a number. And the number can tell you how many wax cubes can fit into it. So I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. But if you look at the bottom, it says that this warmer holds four wax cubes. I really wish he was not playing the video game right now. But anyway, whatever. Hopefully you guys cannot hear it. Um, so this one holds four wax cubes. So as I mentioned, it will either be here or on the inside. And uh, I want to share a cute little tip about cleaning out your warmers as well. If they get residue over time and I'm like, this one has, 
and I also posted a video and it will show up later on that kind of shows how to clean out your residue in your warmers. So that one is the standard warmer. And then we have our mini warmers. And like I said, I cannot find a mini warmer right now. Um, I don't know where they're at, but our mini warmers stand probably about that tall if you can really see a good comparison for my hand. And they're just perfect for your bathrooms or your bedrooms or something like that if you just need a small light. So now I want to get into talking about our laundry. We do have laundry products and they are HE safe. So if you have HE products in your home, it is safe to use our laundry products. The first thing that I want to show you is going to be our laundry liquid. So our laundry liquid has became one of my favorite things. Basically, say goodbye to your regular laundry detergent and say hello to this. This is basically what I'm telling everyone because I do not want to use anything else now aside from this. So this laundry liquid has a powerful six enzyme formula in it. It removes stains really well. It removes dirt really well. It leaves your clothes so clean and smells so good. This is a 20 fluid ounce bottle. So with this bottle, you can get up to 50 medium loads with it. It has directions on the back here if you forget what I'm getting ready to tell you, but it has this pump. So one pump is for a small load, two pumps, medium load, three pumps, large load. That's all you need. You're just going to put it in there and it does exactly what your laundry detergent does now, except it works better and it smells better. Uh, we also have washer whiffs and our washer whiffs are also one of my favorite things. These are scented beads. So it gives a boost to your laundry and it can either come in a 16 ounce tub or a 48 ounce tub, but basically it's just little scented crystal beads like that. You just put them in with your laundry. Uh, you can also put them in your trash cans if you want a little bit of scent in your trash cans. I sprinkle some on my floors before I vacuum the floors. You can mix with a little spray bottle of water and make like an air freshener if you want to, even though we do also have Scentsy Fresh. I don't have that to show you, but we do have Scentsy Fresh, which is our version of Febreze for those hard to wash surfaces. But washer whiffs are one of my favorite things. And this one is the 48 ounce tub. It's also perfect, let me tell you. It's also perfect for cleaning dog beds or <clears throat> blankets that your animals sleep on. It really removes the smell. Sorry, I had to clear my throat there. Then we have dryer disc. Dryer disc comes in a pack of two. They look like this. They're in the shape of a Scentsy bar. How stinking cute is that? <laughs> and you just toss it in your dryer and it's just an extra little freshener up for your clothes whenever they're in your dryer. Now what I have learned with these is if you have your dryer on like the highest heat setting, more than likely this will be stuck to your dryer. So I do not suggest having your dryer on the highest heat setting with this, but I do love my dryer disc and they do come in a pack of two. Now I want to talk clean. We have cleaning products available. I know that cleaning is like one of my least favorite things to do, but I actually, it doesn't bother me as bad now because the Scentsy products are ammonia free. So that means no headaches. I don't get any headaches now whenever I'm cleaning and it's super awesome. Our uh, cleaning products are citrus based. So I want to show you our counter clean. I want to show you our bathroom cleaner. And then I'm going to talk briefly about our all purpose cleaner because I do not have that. I'm out. So I grabbed the bathroom cleaner first. This is what our bathroom cleaner looks like. This stuff removes soap scum, mildew, and grime so well. I was highly impressed whenever I used it. The scent lasts, it seems like you can smell it a week later. I just absolutely love using the stuff in my bathroom. You just spray it with a nozzle. Uh, I would suggest if you have like a stubborn stain or something to let it sit for maybe two or three minutes or longer, depending on what you want to do, and then just wipe it off. But this is perfect for cleaning your bathrooms. I love it. My customers love it. I had a lady order this kind, and this is the Johnny Appleseed scent. And she ordered it, and she said that her husband came home, and he said, what is that smell? It smells so good. And this was like two or three days after she cleaned the bathroom with it. And she was telling him that it was the Scentsy Johnny Appleseed bathroom cleaner. So I highly suggest the bathroom cleaner. The next thing I want to show you is our counter clean. This is our counter clean. It's also in the same size bottle. It's also ammonia free, citrus based. 
So the counter cleaner, a cool thing about this is that the more you use it, it builds up a film over time on your surfaces. So dust is not as bad. How awesome is that? Uh, this is perfect for your counters or any sealed surfaces. So if you have a sealed surface like granite or treated wood, you can use the counter clean safely on there. Then we have all purpose cleaner. I do not have the all purpose cleaner and I'm really sad about that. But if I hold up these two bottles right here, and then you imagine four more of these bottles. The all-purpose cleaner, when mixed with water, can make up to six 16 fluid ounce bottles, which are the size of these right here. And the all-purpose cleaner can basically be used for anything in your household, right? It does have the word all-purpose, and I mean it. You can use it on stainless steel, you can use it on tile, you can use it on linoleum, you can use it to clean with. So many options to do with the all-purpose cleaner. And I, I just thought the name perfectly fit for that. But that is the only cleaning product that you do need to mix with some water. But as I mentioned, it does make 16 fluid ounces in six different bottles. We also have fragrance flowers. We have some unplugged items. This is a fragrance flower. And this one is, it's been in my bathroom for three or four months. And as you can see, I still have a little bit of oil in there. But whenever this comes in, you have the flower and then the bottle of oil separate. And of course, the bottle of oil sealed up. So you just unwrap the wick. There'll be a piece of tape around it. You stick it down in the oil. The oil travels up the wick and goes into the flower. And then the oil smell releases out. Something really cool and really fun to do with these is that before you put them in the oil, you can take a fine tip permanent marker. And I'll post pictures of the few that I've done. I didn't do this one. And you can color your petals. And then not only does the oil spread, but the color spreads. And they look so cool. So I'm going to definitely show you that. But that one is a fragrance flower. In short, they do last. Like I said, the average is up to three months. Mine's been a little over three months. I can still smell it. And it still has some oil left in there. But once again, that's also going to depend on where you put it. I have mine in the bathroom. This is a scent pack. So I'm kind of getting into the unplugged items now. This is a scent pack and it is just scented beads. And the average for these scent packs are up to three months. So what can you do with a scent pack? Well, you can hang it in your vehicle. You can hang it in your closet. Um, these go in our Scentsy Buddies. They also go in our new unicorn travel pillow. So if you have seen the unicorn travel pillow, then it can go in there. People can put them in their drawers. Um, some people fold them up with their blankets whenever they're storing for different seasons. And then that way it freshens up the blankets. So many uses for this thing. And like I said, it is just little scented beads. You can just smell the scent through there. That, my friends, is a scent pack. The last thing that I want to show you, like I said, there's so much that I could have covered, but we would have been here forever and I didn't want to keep you for a long time. But the last thing that I want to show you is our Scentsy Air Purifier. Now, I love the air purifier. I've had people tell me, um, you know, different things about it, ask different questions, and then you see the size of it, and you're just like, does that really do much? It, it really does. So, I'm going to show you this air purifier. This is our Scentsy Air Purifier, and no, it's not very big, but it does its job. The air purifier removes 99.95 percent of airborne particles in your home including dust, pollen, mold, and bacteria. I have mine sitting in the bedroom because Layabug likes to sleep in there with us and she sheds and it's really helping with being able to breathe better at night from the pet dander. Um, this removes the dirty air and then it releases the clean air through your Scentsy Pods. So whenever you turn your filter on it, it does come with a filter whenever you first buy and then you have to buy replacement filters, but your first filter does come with it. It's got this little part up here where you're going to put your pods in. These are the Scentsy pods. If you watched my video previously, then you heard me talk about the fan diffusers and the mini fans for vehicles. Well, this are what goes in. This is what goes in as well to the air purifier. So you just pop those pods down in there. And it has three fan settings. It has a low setting, a medium setting, and a high setting. So depending on what you want, you can turn that fan on and it can either run continuously or it has a timer button right here. 
for two, four, or eight hours. The cool thing that I really like about this purifier is whenever it turns on, this light right here is white unless you push the light button down here to turn it off. But if there are really dirty particles in the air, the fan will automatically kick on to high to get rid of the bad particles and you'll have a red light shine right there. So once the red light shuts off, that means that your air is clean again. Um, we were fixing popcorn one night and you know, I might have accidentally forgot the popcorn and let it sit a little bit too long. Yeah, you know, you know how it goes. And I looked down the hallway and this thing, it kicked up to high. The red light was on and I was just like, oh my gosh, it really is clean. And that was the first time I've ever seen the red light come on. I probably just haven't ever been paying attention before because I'm sure it's probably happened more than once. But I just happened to be sitting on the couch and looked down the hallway and I could see it put to work and it was so, so, so cool. So this is perfect for up to small spaces of about 200 square feet. And there is a payment plan available at checkout through PayPal. So if you have PayPal, you can set up a payment plan for this baby right here, as well as all the other things on the website after you spend a certain amount. But that is at checkout and I'm not gonna get into that. If you have any questions about that, you can. So that was all that I had to show you. Like I said, we do have tons more on the website. But I'm not going to get into all that. Um, I'm going to post my link down below this video. And you can shop the site. You can browse the site. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me. Like I said, I've been selling Scentsy for three years now. I absolutely love it. And I want to share that love with you. If you're watching this and you want to host a party, reach out to me. And I can also help you host a party. And we'll try to get you some goodies for free and half off it's really easy to do basically i set up the facebook group or we can even do it at your home if you live close to me and you want to do that we set up the party you invite your friends i do this and you get free and half off scentsy pretty easy right uh, if you're watching this and you're thinking about joining scentsy i can also answer any questions about that and i would love to have you be a part of my Scentsy family. I don't call my team, team. I call them a family because we work together. We are all supportive of one another and we want to help each other be successful. So thanks for watching. Um, I'm actually cutting this off actually at about 23 minutes. So that's pretty good. So yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Feel free to shop at any time. My shop link is always open. Be sure to join my Facebook group, Measures Heather's Heavenly Scents. And I post fun things in there too. You all have a great and wonderful day. Bye.